100.7 WXXP, the fine young cannibals from the Something Wild movie soundtrack, Never Fallen in Love. I'm Deb Brady. This is Double X, and I have a special guest on the phone this afternoon with me in Pittsburgh. It is Frank Zappa. Hi, Frank. Welcome to Pittsburgh. Hi, no, Deb. Okay. Um, you're over at Carnegie Mellon at University this evening. You're going to be uh, doing a lecture. Unfortunately, that's sold out. Um, why don't you give us an idea as to what you'll be talking about tonight? I know you said you'll be talking about just about everything, but... Well, the way I'm going to structure it is for the uh, first half hour or so, I'm going to take a variety of topics and just tell people what my opinions are on all these different things, and then we'll do about an hour of question and answer. You mentioned something about uh, Star Wars. Carnegie Mellon has something to do with Star Wars. Yeah, I was told just uh, with an inter by the interviewer that was here just a little while ago that part of the Star Wars research is going on at Carnegie Mellon, and uh, that's one of the things that I was going to talk about. Um, and I'll tell you, since it's sold out, what I'm going to say is for those people who think that Star Wars is going to be the thing that saves America from any kind of uh, aggression from abroad, you have to remember one critical thing about Star Wars. It doesn't kill germs. And the warfare of the future is not necessarily connected to nuclear warheads because it's a lot easier to bring in a, gr a briefcase full of germs than it is to make a, uh, a big launch and expect to... Uh, win a war that way. I think that both of the superpowers would like to do away with nuclear warheads because finally it has dawned on them that if, they sh if you shoot them off, you destroy the war. various clippings from different states about what's been happening there, uh, things pertaining to legislation, a copy of uh, the speech that I made at the Senate, and the letter that I sent to Reagan before the whole thing uh, blew up. And uh, all you got to do is pay for the postage, and it's yours. And if you're interested in the, um, what the PMRC actually says, we supply you with actual PMRC documentation so you can find out what's really going on. And uh, if the matter is of concern to you as a music consumer, this would be a good way for you to find out what really has happened since last year when the thing began. Some people are just now catching on to it, and uh, you know it's taken a while to make people aware of what these PMRC people are really doing, and uh, it's, I think it's been working real well. The public opinion is vastly against them and, and what they propose and what they stand for, and I think that's good. And uh, on the note of the record consumer, you've got a new one coming out soon. Yeah, I have an album which is uh, supposedly shipped on November 14th called Jazz from Hell. Is it jazz? Only one of the cuts. <laughs> That's the, the, the title cut. That's great. Well, Frank Zappa over at uh, CMU this evening, a sold-out lecture. Frank, what's the station in Pittsburgh that dares to be different? Double X. Thanks a lot, Frank.